Good morning. Feels great to be back after our bye week and a chance to uh, reflect on our last game and uh, move forward. So uh, really a productive last several days uh, with our team before we gave them some time off. Practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of last week. And then they went Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then I uh, got them back in the campus yesterday. Just to kind of uh, some kids go home if they could and uh, get a physical, mental, emotional break for our guys. It was very important for them to do that. We got a lot of good recruiting in with our staff. Uh, Sent coaches out on Wednesday, as well as our whole staff on Thursday and Friday, myself included on Thursday and Friday. And, and uh, was able to cover a lot of ground, a lot of uh, important areas hit in state and out of state, and uh, able to move on from there. So, um, wrapping up the game uh, from, uh, from Minnesota to be able to talk about our guys that uh, performed offensively. Stevie Scott, the player of the game. Defensively, uh, Brian Fitzgerald, uh, defensive player of the game. And special teams, Logan Justice continues to uh, kick the ball well and uh, had three field goals and uh, done a nice job for us. And then um, our younger guys working with our scouts and uh, the defensive scout players of the week, Aaron Casey and Madison Norris, doing continue to do a great job working hard and gave us great effort. And the uh, <coughs> scouts on our offense, Justin Berry, Connor Thomas, and Brad Ellis doing a great job for us. And then special team scout of the week was Jeremy Boyd. So we really appreciate the effort that those guys continue to give us. Um, really excited about um, the focus and effort today. Monday practice to start off this week. We'll extend the practice just because of having more time to prepare uh, for our next opponent. And uh, this coming game against Maryland will be a Hall of Fame weekend here at Indiana. And, uh, uh, Glenn Skolnick will be inducted, one of our former receivers, so excited for him to be uh, given this tremendous honor. And then also saluting our service members in this game. And, uh, tremendously um, grateful for and, and we appreciate all that they do, have done, and continue to do uh, for our country. So we want to make sure we do a great job honoring them. So um, looking forward to a very important week for our program and a great opportunity ahead of us as we take on uh, the Maryland Terrapins coming to town here at the kickoff. Questions? Coach Maryland, uh, a team you're very familiar with. Last year, you guys had a great battle with them. This year, they come in here and a very good vaunted running attack that you're going to have to face with this. What do you have to do with your defense to shut those guys down? Yes, uh, Coach Canada, uh, their interim head coach and offensive coordinator, um, someone who I know well. And uh, as a new system that they brought in, you know, a lot of the same players. A lot of uh, very experienced fifth-year seniors on the offensive line. Uh, a lot of really talented, skilled guys. So they've got a plethora of, of speed and uh, uh, have ran the ball extremely well uh, for the, this entire season. So really, uh, they they force you to be extremely disciplined. Um, it's kind of even though it's not an option offense, uh, the way that they um, shift, move, adjust, um, motion, different things that they do, it forces you to be extremely disciplined. If you get out of position. They're very, very athletic, and they can they make one guy miss, and it's a, a big, big play. So they really um, survive off big plays. It's kind of their um, um, the way they've had success this season. So to me, the key is gap integrity, just with our eyes. They've got to be great tacklers. Coach, is there two or three things you have to change in the last quarter to uh, get the Ws in the Yeah, you know, to me, uh, just continue to, um, you know, I just think, you know, as a, as a team, and uh, I know I've said some of these things before, but uh, they don't necessarily change. Um, you know, the bottom line is, is it's about us fish in key situations. You know, we had there in that fourth quarter once again. Uh, we fought our tails off to get back in the game. The team did not quit, showed tremendous fight, and uh, got us in there late in the fourth quarter and had the, tour, the, the score was tied and, and uh, got ourselves a chance to, to Force a three and out, get a punt, and then uh, the chance to go take the ball and go score and win the game. You know, and, and it's about once again critical. Executing third and one, chance to be able to, you know, to keep that drive alive and move in field goal range. We already, already made three field goals, and we go need to get one more. And uh, and then finishing those scores in the red zone in the first half. You know, being able to do that and defensively, just to me, I was just my, my biggest disappointment really the whole of the whole night defensively was just. Uh, some poor execution of some fundamental things early on, and even by some of our better players, you know, and, and uh, guys that we've, you know, in our own meetings have, have challenged and called out and held accountable in those areas. And 
is making tackles, you know, and finishing, and getting guys on the ground, and executing technique, playing with proper technique in those key situations is what it comes down to. You're going to be able to compete against teams on, on a given day. You got to, you know, you got to be able to execute those key times. I mean, you got to be able to finish plays. You got to make plays. You got to create separation on offense and get open and catch the ball when you get those contested balls, and then and be able to. So just continue to focus on that, the details, the little things. Um, once again, just being able to. You know, even though that, that last play, the third and one play, you had to go back to that and reflect and they ran that exact list before. The guys picked it up, got a good gain, and that time we didn't. And uh, it was different between picking it up and being a big, big gain or not converting at all. You know? So I think that's continues to be a focus and you know, fundamentals. Reemphasis on that last week was big for us of tackling. It's been a whole day working on that. Um, you know, it wasn't a real physical week, but the fundamentals of that continue to be focused on because we're still got to keep developing guys and get a lot of guys ready to play. And that to me doesn't change and, and uh, did some good things up front, but got to finish, got to finish out that last drive. And so it's just to me, um, continuing to keep our guys locked in and, and, and keeping them where they need to be mentally, which I feel like we've got some strong leadership that's helped with that. And the guys came in today and, and had a great, great focus about them. And, and that, that to me is about, you know, living out our one word for the year, which is finish. And, and that to me is a continual challenge and coming here to, against the team. It's, uh, won five games already and is looking to get their sixth win and, and uh, has done some good things amid some difficult circumstances. So um, just uh, once again, opportunity for us to come out here and, and uh, you know, turn things around for our season and get a whole different feeling, you know, for our program. With the red shirt rule in these last three games, are there any freshmen that you want to see on the field? I guess if so, what do you want Yeah, I, I believe so, you know, and, and uh, James Miller, you know, we'd uh, – had planned to play him, I guess, and then so he did. He played and he was injured in the first play of the game. And so I uh, hope to get him back and be able to allow him to get valuable reps. And um, a guy like uh, um, so Jonathan King's another one that just sticks out to me. Mass Norris, another guy to trying to get uh, a chance to play on some special teams and also get some reps um, you know, situations warrant themselves. Um, I think even special teams wise, um, Christian Paycheck's the guy we're continuing to work in there and get some reps those opportunities and, and uh, the guys that haven't played, you know, even Noah Pierre's another one we're working in on, on special teams as well. And so I think those guys are, um, are candidates for getting some shots to play. And uh, we just continue to see who steps up during the week and, and proves to us that they are uh, you know, putting themselves in position. And, and that's what these guys have been able to do. So those guys I mentioned, I would, I would like to get them involved in the game. Yes. Uh, this is Bethany's first year as team chaplain. I know the first time he came to talk to you guys uh, was last year before the Maryland game. Is how much have you seen him grow in this role uh, and from that first time he spoke to now and kind of what went into the process of picking him to be your guys' next year? Yeah, you know, he, uh, Bad Lee is, is our chaplain and through FCA and just does a tremendous job. It's about relationships and he does a good job of building those with our players. And it takes time to do that. And he came in, as you mentioned, a year ago and spoke to our guys without knowing any of them. And, and uh, being able to come in here, and, you know, he's at all the practices, and all the workouts, and works out with them a lot of times as far as just himself, you know, wanting to do it on his own, and you know, just be around our guys. And, and they're just building it, you know, have a resource for guys to come and talk to, you know, things happen in players' lives. And you know, just this past weekend, we had a young man lose his grandmother, and, and uh, those are tough times for guys. And to be able to somebody they can just uh, connect with and spend time with and, and help them grow, you know, emotional side of things, mental side of things, spiritual side of things, and, and that's his role. And so uh, just really pleased, you know, you go through and you have you, you know, interviews like any other position on your staff, and you bring people in and you talk to them and you try to see who's a great fit for what you want. And you, you map out what you, you see the, the vision for that position is and, and how you see that impacting your team. And, and uh, you know, the staffs I've been on, those guys have really made a, played a major role in helping our guys with things that, that matter, you know, um, outside of football. And, uh, ultimately in, in their lives and so um, Bad's done a great job doing that and continue to build those relationships. With Coach with the, uh, going back to the five weeks, just who are some players that you felt like really benefited from whether they were you know, healthy or maybe even banged up a little bit? Yeah, I think that's a big, you know, part of it. You know, TD Roof's the guy that we've been trying to get back. I think he really benefited. Um, great to see him out there today and getting back to his uh, normal self. Um, I think uh, you know, with, with Marcelino being out, you know, missing you know, a big chunk of the game and having some time to get him back, I think he's going to really benefit from that as well. You know, I think uh, um, you 
know, just all of our guys who got dinged up, you know, that's really, you couldn't really, um, you know, a lot of times those situations are the only thing to really get him heal healthy is, is rest. And uh, it's tough to do when you're trying to get ready for another one, you know. So those two guys jump out to me. I think some of our younger guys, too, you know, I just continue, you know, um, Gabby Cave's a guy, he's a lineman, he's a true freshman that uh, really um, continues to develop and grow and, and all those reps you get. We got a lot of chance to get those guys a lot more uh, time, you know, with our with our units. Reese Taylor got a lot of reps at quarterback. That was extremely important for us to, to have that, to really kind of give a chance to, to rest Peyton and get his body healed up, you know, and let him rest his arm, rest everything, you know, and so we really um, saw, saw uh, Reese get a lot of work work in during the, those three practices, you know. So I think that was critical and it's getting our receiver core healthy and, and Peyton Hendershot got to get him back. He's another one. He, he's back out there today. So that was great to see him get him back there moving around. And, and uh, so that bye week was huge for him as well. And get our offensive line guys healthy, D line healthy. And, and uh, Wade Crons continued to work hard to, to, to get back. And his diagnosis was better than we expected, so which is good. So he's working hard to. Get his body back right. So I think all those guys, you know, um, benefited and uh, allowed him to heal up and uh, be ready for a, a strong finish. Just as a follow up on that, so specifically about Jake Robinson, is he going to be ready to go? Do you yeah, you know, he's uh, another one that, uh, with the time to continue to rehab and work hard and, and get get his uh, leg to where we feel like it can and be uh, effective. You know, we're trying to. The big thing with him is you want to make sure he's. You know, not going to put himself in a position that we would you know, further hurt him, you know, so our doctors feel good about that. But yeah, I think just another week of doing what he's been doing it helps him. And he's a guy that provides so much leadership for our team. And uh, whether he's in the game or not in the game. And so we're trying to get him more reps this next weekend and compared to what we did before only a few times. And so uh, I think each time we get more and more. And, and uh, yeah, I like to see him uh, get back to you know, as much full strength as possible. Coach, you mentioned Reese Taylor getting uh, some extra reps. Are you going to be able to use him in conjunction to complement uh, Peyton, or is he too valuable as the backup quarterback right now? That's that's kind of the tough balance, you know. And we're we're still going to use him on offense. Yes, um, you have to be you, you 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 play that you know game with that. You know, he's still one of our more explosive guys that you want to get involved in. So um, I would say yes with caution, you know. And so that's really kind of the. Tough dilemma that you're in at the same time, but you gotta you gotta go. And and to me, it's it's uh, it's about understanding what's at stake and where we're at, what we need to do. And so I think you gotta put it all out there as best you can. All right, thanks, Tom. Awesome. Have a great day, Elio.